everybody we're back with another episode of truth be told i'm your girl Lo, and i'm your girl oh and we're back with the scenery in a different place holding the different you know like a, like this like like summertime summertime fun. we want to switch it up you're right fine, like wine oh i'm a, you know i was thinking i was gonna say it to you i'm like okay most of the time i'm gonna be so honest <laughs> i'm gonna be so honest when i look like shit it's because i feel like it inside oh. so when i look stupid on here i personally feel like <laughs> stupid on the inside yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh my god shout out to <laughs> shop truth that's s-h-o-p truth t-r-v-t-h dot com for all your raw do you see that lady Indian. <laughs> Ladies, okay. You want to do a flash? Should I? Just a little movement here. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it looks like a silk press. Shout like, out it looks Shop like Truth. it comes from my scalp. Okay, you shout out Shop I mean? Truth for the outfit. Okay, you know. Shout out Shop Truth. <laughs> Shop Truth. <laughs> we don't have no alcohol sitting here on display today, but shout out um, B Distillers. But we got some we drinks. Got, we got some, some truth juice, though. Yeah, we Lots sad. of truth juice. But yeah, we're back, and we, we want to just talk and shoot the shit. How are our f people, our viewers, you want to say fans? No, I'm How gonna are say our fans. fans. I'm a, I don't know what fans. do you call them. I think viewers. I feel fans are like viewers. Supporters. Supporters. I like that word. Yeah, supporters. But fans. Like, oh, bitch, I'm you not your groupie. You know, fuck no, you. Fuck. I just that's like you. <laughs> you know who we should shout I just out? I like you. Shout out the camera girl, Aaliyah. Beauty behind this uh, hey, hey, I wish I could show them what you're doing. <laughs> I know. She's really cute, guys. Like, really. She does look very cute today yeah. as well. Um, so, yeah. Well, you want to jump right into it? Oh, my God. Oh, I have to be the one. You guys remember to comment below, like, subscribe, and tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. It's summertime, so we're holding summer vibes. We're going to be doing sceneries. And, yeah, like, you know, shooting the shit. Okay. Go ahead, girl. Why do you always give me the tea like I'm the mixy one? That's what I get to give. I give it that. So, yeah, you're going to go ahead and tell what's going on? Or? No, but because you know what happens? Okay, I'll start. Okay, or do you want me to start? No, I'll start. I'll even start this one. Okay, I'll start. So, you want to start? You remember what my mommy said? So, you have to listen. You need to listen. <laughs> she was talking to you. You know what my mother yeah, said? Listen. Low. Okay, so I'll start, though. Yeah. Okay, so there's recently something that's going on Instagram that there's like a Toronto rapper that likes transgender women, right? Mm -hmm. And at first they were like, at first when I saw a couple of stuff, I was like, I don't know, like they're just being mixed up. How do they know? Mm -hmm. Like whatever. But like, then I saw, like how do they know? But then I saw some other things that led up to it. But what we did notice, and this is what I said I want to talk about it was that none of the blogs were posted it, right? Like, none of the blogs posted it. But then if it was a female rapper or a female girl in the industry that did that or, like, came out with a video of her sucking, like, 10 dicks, they would... <laughs> no, they would put it up and, like, talk about it and, and speak on it. So I wanted to Even if to they know, didn't have the video. Even if they, it was, like, just a rumor. Like, if someone said it in an interview. Yeah, like... It'd even be if facts. So, like, I'm not trying to even, like, be disrespectful to her, her like, shout out Chromas, but if it was Chromas, they would be like, yo, did you hear that they, Chromas did that this? Her. And there's no video, nothing. No. So, but my other thing is, so what do you think about that whole transgender and, and like, pretty much... Like, I feel like, I'm sorry, let me just put my my pin, my real truth in. I for, personally feel like people in the city are like, guys are so anti-gay that they become gay. So, like, they're so, like, hey, 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 hey. Like, if that's who you are, that's who you are. I personally don't, I'm dead ass. Like, as much as everyone thinks I'm joking, like, if you're like that, that's who you are, right? I have no judgment. Certain things I'm confused about, I'm not going to be, uh, I'm going to be completely transparent. But other than that, but it's more like, you would, like, diss a girl, you'll diss a transgender a gay and you're doing the same thing so what makes you like are you not worse and could you be with someone that had previously been with, with a guy trend? okay so i'll answer your two the first two things you, the two things you said first thing i just want to correct you real quickly i don't I, I shouldn't say i'm correcting you because it's still not even proven so i'm not correcting you apologies mm -hmm. um but i don't think there's they rap so much about it that they become gay i think they already are homosexual and they hate it so much no it's not that they hate it it's the the culture is not completely accepting of it right mm -hmm. so to be out there and be like yeah and be openly gay within the culture of rap music of hip-hop or toronto rap especially 
coming from the G, um the tr- Toronto. Like it's it's very judgy, right? Because they act like they don't mean pussy. Like they Much really less, judge. No, they act like. But they states t- they don't care. Like states will tell you guys they, will tell you I'm uh, bisexual uh, or, or girls not, will tell you I'm no, bisexual. But even no, but they're very open. open in the states. They definitely will. Guys and, will put their finger up your butt. Like they'll do things. Like you know what I mean. So so here so to answer so that goes to the first one. I think they're already they already are. Um, um, homosexual and then it's just it's like a, it's like they're almost trying to deflect what they really feel what they they're trying to deflect away from what they really feel that's what I was gonna say and then the second thing no I could not be with someone that um, had previously been with a transgender woman I could not no there's not even a question about that the reason why I'm just going to go back to like the anti-gay thing I feel like I know what you're saying but then I feel like if you're not if you are gay then you don't have to act like like just like what I'm saying is it's like it's the full blame lie like I feel like you know what I mean if you don't touch on it you don't speak on it but I do feel like it's very scary to see these I think it's fucked up for guys to do that to girls you remember we were talking about mm-hmm, this mm-hmm. let's go into it like tricking them mm-hmm. into feeling like okay you're meeting you're giving me the persona this but then in low, you want to like, like, okay, we'll get into that in a minute. But, okay, all right. I don't know. Anybody that's watched P Valley, remember Murda? Like how he used to act yeah. in the beginning? And like, I don't know if you watch even Animal Kingdom. Like one of the brothers is getting head in the bathroom. And then the, the, the nephew came in and saw, saw his uncle getting head. And the uncle acted like he was beating up the guy. Yeah. yeah. Right? So, again, it is something that because they don't feel ex- like it's accepted, accepted they don't want to put themselves in the position to be judged so what so, do you feel about this topic because they feel like okay i'm not gonna lie the reason why no one's mentioned names because it's politics and yeah it's i'm not very doing messy. that I'm, no. <laughs> but the only reason i don't like doing it i'm gonna be honest this is why i don't like doing it because if it was to happen to me like something was to come on the internet with me i wouldn't want people to be like broadcasting like i don't like it i think it's, it's not, not nice. nice it's not I think nice it's not nice a part of me feels like it's not nice like i'm not gonna lie like it's just really not nice but okay it's not nice and i and that's why we don't that's why we're keeping we're, we're People still think being, i should say shit we should be think. we should speak the truth and speak names and shit like that but it's not we're not trying to even do controversy like it's not even trying to we're not even trying to do poly or none of that. We're literally just bringing some, bringing light to something that happens a lot in our city to females. Like, for example, we played a game mm-hmm. and other blogs posted it like we were saying something disrespectful. But they won't post this. And they were dissing us and they were calling us names. I mean, they were Girl. doing the most, right? All for us just playing a game. And, and we played Fuck, Mary Kill, which is a game that a so lot girls, of people that's play. what I'm saying. They move fucking no, funny, No, a lot bro. of people play what this game. Even at point is- game, um, well, drinking parties, game nights. People play this game. Sorry to interrupt, but I'm just no. saying. That just shows you, though, when it comes to girls, they move funny. When it comes to girls, they have more rah-rah. When it comes to guys, they're like, that's gay, bro. That's gay. I don't think that's cool. It's just like, it's just like. You're always- telling me. Okay, let's be honest. You're telling me. And I'll say this right here. You're telling me posting people them getting raided and lock up is not just the same as he's saying about the Batima, but he won't do it. Why won't you do it? This, and that's what I'm saying to you. The same way they they do it to females, but then what? And then you put up chromas, and when everybody always said has, that, everybody always when has. When academic the first said, you know why? No, I'll just he's I, joking. I, chromas no. left and right. This is why I'm saying it. Hold on, let me say this. This is why I'm saying this. It, it, in in our city, especially, I don't know about other cities, but I know in our city, especially, what everybody's afraid of is poly ops. No, but they do poly to but shit. The, they but do when pop, it came to girls, but that's what I'm saying to you. What girl? What girl do you know is talking about bus and gun and is threatening people on 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 Instagram or on live? It's not about doing, the threatening. It's just even the I'm respect. Saying, but what girl's gonna defend it? it what girl, not, it's, when do they defend okay, it? Okay, no. Listen to what I'm saying. You're still. It's the respect. It's I, the fact that they don't even have respect enough to girls to just be like, this is girl business. Make the girls be in it it's the more of like but it's no respect no it's not about respect you know what it's about to me oh well sorry to you you know what it's about to me it's just about you know what you've been saying 
Man needs to mind their business. <laughs> man needs to mind their business. No, man needs no, to mind their do. business. No, they do. They shouldn't be. I in, think it's fucked shouldn't up. They shouldn't be like in the yalla. comment section talking about like what she did or what. I don't think I should be doing that. That's my personal opinion. Or in the, I don't think I should be in the comment section cussing Period. girls either. I really, if you really want me to be completely, they shouldn't be there at all, unless they're like promoting business or or something. Like I don't think grown like, I don't know. It's just not my thing, but. On that note, I just personally feel like it's funny when it comes to girls. And that is a... They'll scandal us from head to toe and post it. Ain't and that, when it comes ain't to that men, they don't have no dick to say nothing. But that's just our truth, so... We can talk about I it just think people should be below. who they are, too. Yeah, people and should that, be who they are. I don't think nothing's wrong with that. I legit don't see nothing wrong with it. But I do think it is a bit contradiction if you're a rapper and then doing stuff like that. I'm just saying. <laughs> I think it's co really controversial when. So just don't rap. It's no, it's not about don't rap. It's not about don't rap. Because even in the, the states, rappers they dress a certain way, they act a certain way. Yeah, but nobody they really, do. Like funny you know, shit. It's uh, funny. The other day, I'm What's not I, wearing I, nail polish no, stuff. I think that's funny. The other day, Bobby Schmurda. What? Was joking up himself? I don't no, mind him joking up himself. No, I don't mind that. him joking up himself either because it gives me a laugh. But he said something at the end of one of his. Get it? I'm gay. And I was like, what? He didn't say he's gay. People are just saying that. I don't believe that. Did you watch it? No, okay. but I believe... So when you watch it... And I'm not saying he is. What if all he I, didn't say that, though, at all? And okay, it just sounds what, like that. Okay, and, okay, it just sounded like that when T-Pain said t said something in one of his songs. Um, Can I buy you a drink? Everybody said, he said, ooh-wee. For the, my whole life, mm -hmm. he said, ooh-wee. What did he ooh say? He said, he said, and then... <laughs> <laughs> That's a lie. T Pain said he said and then and then let me tell you okay, and then I went back and listened to the song. I swear they yeah. changed it. No, I swear they changed. I don't care what anybody tells me. I don't care what anybody tells me. The old version of the song says ooh we the no, new version I still have right now on my phone says ooh we Okay. No, okay, we're gonna go listen to it. You pull it up and then put it up here for Maybe them to he's hear. Maybe saying like he said, and then in general from no, the get go. He said, "Ooh wee," that's what I heard. And he said, "No, no, guys, that's not what I said. I said, and then I'm gonna take you home with me." <laughs> that's no, he did it. No, he but that did it. You train. That makes sense, and then... It does make sense, but that's not what he said. <laughs> no, no, he was starting a new sentence. He said, ooh wee, and then started... And, and then, then, yeah, he said, ooh wee. <laughs> I don't care what anybody tells me. The man said, ooh wee. Yes, and then. <laughs> our next topic... Oh, our next... Oh, this one's for the ladies. This one's for the ladies. So, Aaliyah's going to add a song here, and... And then when you guys hear the song, oh, oh, that's the word they're talking about. Anyways, they say we can holler if you know, proud if you know that I am what you do. Yes, cater to you. Know? you. Mm -hmm. Yes, cater to you. So, Ollie, Ollie, Ollie always, okay, I'm not gonna lie. When it comes to social media, Ollie's that girl. When it comes to research, Ollie's that girl. I'll go research it, but she's the one that puts me on to make me want to even go research it. And she I still told suck me, at social media, though, like, real, compared to, like, other people that, like, go in and like their days and walk with ring lights and fuck shit like that i can't do it um but i'm i'm learning so as i learn i research always on it because that's where you have to learn some of your mm -hmm, topics girl mm -hmm. and girl boy oh boy did she give me one well this one topic is about a woman that said um i think her name's jazzy something you'll figure it out i'm so bad with names god forgive you, me do you do suck with names i do sorry <laughs> Um, but it's Jazzy something, and she, um, she's a girlfriend of Cam Newton, mm -hmm. which is a football player. But no one knew that, I guess, until after this came out. But she was pretty much on a podcast. It had a cute scenery like this, too, which is funny. <laughs> and she was talking, and she was saying, like, when it comes to her man, she's submissive, right? Which, okay, it's cool. But she's like, she does everything for him. So, like, she unpacks his bag, packs his bag. If he's, um, in a bad mood, she could read his mind. Like, she understands him, so whatever he's in, she provides for him, and something of the sense. I didn't watch the whole entire podcast, because I, I don't know how come I couldn't find it. But anyhow, she was speaking on, with her man, she caters to and gives, right? Which is funny, because my husband sent it to me, too, right? And was like, 
there you go right that's for you but then in my head i'm like she doesn't have no pitney that's what i said in my head like how do you have kids like she's like he's her pitney yeah but then if she's her pitney and she's like he's spoiled like even when her friends call she'll be like how's your mind she's like he's spoiled like she does everything for him it's her pitney though and how many kids does he have seven (laughs) that's what they were talking about he has seven kids he has like two or four different baby mothers and then they're like like and then girls the, are pretty much saying like are you stupid like why would you be submissive to a man like this and you know everyone has their judgmental point of view on it right mm-hmm. i don't have a problem with being submissive but i'm not a fucking mind reader right just like you're not a mind fucking reader and i'm not miss cleo and you aren't either so i'm not going to go out my way to like read your mind it's different if i learn my mind and i understand him and like but i'm not always gonna you never really know someone right so for me to be like i'm gonna do this and in my personal opinion it's when girls do that and i'm not saying nothing's wrong with that because if that's what you do that's what you do but if you do that you have to be willing to do that for the rest of your life until you die you can never have a moment to be like i'm tired i don't want to do this i want to look off my once that happens you and him are fucking masha because that's not the persona you gave him. That's a completely new person. Okay. This is going to bring us back to what you mentioned before. What? But we'll get there. Um, about niggas lying. Men lying. Sorry. Mm-hmm. Um, but, okay. The thing is this. In my opinion, that is her child. I guess that's what she's trying to say. One. Two. I think she did learn him. Because you have to learn your partner, right? To, and then you have to learn and then understand and then be able to execute, right? But I think at the same time, I think at the same time, a lot of, remember, social media, so I think they finagle a lot of things, like they lie, right? So she's so, lying? No, when she says like, oh, she knows what he's thinking, she knows what he's feeling. I think this is something that, one, over time she's noticed, one, and two, something that like he's told her, like, this sounds like to me like a man that when he, just based on the story I've heard, right? When he meets a female and he feels like, yo, he's going somewhere with her, he lays it down. Yeah, he, down he lets him know who I am. Like, this is how this things I go. If I if I look like this, this is what this is what I need. Like I think he's he taught her what he needs from her. But again, because women, we all want to feel wanted and needed, right? That's the reason why she makes it seem like I know what he I, like. Yeah, I know what he needs. He is spoiled. She's right. But then they had a video of her um, having talking shit about needy girls too. And saying not to be that girl. But she's not needy. He's the needy one. Well, okay, even if she's not needy, right? I understand that. But I personally feel like, I just feel like that's a bit toxic in a way. Because once you stop, like, I don't understand it. As anybody, you get tired, right? You never want to do the same thing. If you're like, okay, this is what I'm doing. I'm catering to a person. That's cool. You support your man. Whatever. But most of these girls eventually be like, yo, who am I? What do I have? What I want for myself? Like, you know what I'm saying? And once you do that, you can't focus on two like that. That's the honest truth. And imagine not having kids. To me, I feel like that's impossible. But this, I, how I'm looking at it is, like, with anything, with any, like, and that can happen in any type of relationship, too. Even with a friendship, like, you know what I mean? Even, like, just imagine two friends, they both go to college, but they, they meet different people. They're into different things now. So it might change their per- the perception of their friendship because now one friend doesn't want to do what they used to do or you know mm-hmm. what I mean? you know what I mean. So at that point, that just means like things changed. With that, I'll just say things change. People change their mind on what they want. But okay, I my believe. Question, sorry. Hold on, hold on. Let me answer your question. I believe that when you, um, when you like when you go into something saying this is what I'm gonna do, like this is how I'm gonna do it. Then you have to stick to it. Yeah, you do have to stick to it. And I think, and I, what I believe is a lot of these females, I, I think a lot of these women, the ones that are in it for the longevity at least, stick to it. Because. That's what you signed up for. Yeah, that's what they yeah. signed up for. And I think, and that goes with old love. That's how I see that. I think it goes with old love. Because I feel like new love, new age love, new day love, it's like, it's for the right now. It's for what you yeah. have. It's for what you if can it's give. Not good, it's for what you can yeah. provide. For, I agree. Like, if the, the moment we get into an argument and I grab you, it's like, like it's, it's abuse. Yeah. Like, it's like, like yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, nah, like, sometimes I'm grabbing you just, just, you know, just chill. Just chill. Mm-hmm. Like, let me, just hear me I out. Agree. You know what I mean? So, I think that we sometimes look, and especially with social media, we take it to that next level. And that's why 
That's why she got shag up now because the first comment <laughs> that she made about oh needy girls. She's not needy. No. She just she I don't see nothing wrong with she said I just either. think that she's gonna get but I'm not reading your mind. No, I have no problem. I don't think she being, uses mind either. I don't I don't have a problem being submissive. I'm cool with that. I'm not gonna lie, sometimes I do wanna do my own thing and mm-hmm. like branch off, right? Because I'm just that at, at heart. Like I'm just a person that just likes to just do her own thing. It reminds me of the lipstick. Yeah, it is. It is just like that. Look, I don't say it here. I'm done. I would say it right here. I'm done. On this. Do you want me to say no, it? No, let's move on. No, you know what I want to talk about? It goes with this topic, though. The guy's lying now. Like, guy's lying. We know We know. girls, sometimes they'll lie to... We will lie to ourselves to make sure. But she, you're work. saying he's lying to her because he's making her feel like he's probably going to marry her now? He might not, you know. <laughs> yeah, I know. He might not. I know. And that's the fuck up part of guys. Like, that's the fuck up part of guys. Remember, they didn't want to have, up they didn't wanna have the control to say, you know, get no, on your knee and say, this will you it. marry me? Yeah. They're the ones that have. And this they is, do the picking. It's because we don't. And guys the, do the picking. Females don't even realize. Do you know that? don't realize that. Guys do the picking. As much as girls are like, I'm the prize, like, like whatever. And then like. You are the prize. Most, but. No one, you are the prize. Maybe just not his. Guys do the, the picking. Like. Most guys, this is what they do, and this is why I feel like they they get the, like a certain type of guy, get their mind right. Once they get their mind right, they get focused, they get focused, they get determined, and once they get determined, they get their mind right. When they get their mind right, their money gets right. You get what I'm saying? And they know once these things get right, then everything comes to me, right? So even with females now, they have the... Choice. The, the choice now to be like which female do I want and which one I don't want yes no yes no as much as girls are like oh well I'm this and I'm that most guys choose you like it, that's the honest truth you don't really choose them and it sounds fucked up and I think people are gonna like nope. bite my head nope. off when they so see who, it so who says will you marry me majority of the time it's a man yeah but a girl but they'll be like oh yeah because that's a man you he chose to marry you and that's the person you agreed to and marry I, and I you know what I used to say I'm not even gonna lie I used to say yeah I don't see nothing wrong with a female proposing to no, a guy I'm not but doing that, that means he I'm did not, not choose that. you yeah, yeah he you choose you, you chose, chose him, him. <laughs> and then it's it, like I've seen, if a girl I've seen gets down on her knees it's embarrassing it is embarrassing I don't care what no one wants to say to me I even said that if I saw my daughter go on her knees and propose to a man I'd kick her down right there and then <laughs> remember me tell you I'd kick her down right there and then you have the pussy clot nerve after I did this and this for you you're putting on me for my for my for you for my you for my to you. I beg and people that give that for paper or money you could do that like you're crazy on top of that and you're going on your knees but most guys choose girls that's why they always don't if you ever meet a girl or meet a guy even girls like you like i want him to like me i want him to you make sure you do everything right so he likes you likes you yeah it does. no it does. i do think guys i do think but guys no i think guys that i think guys that are in a certain status or even confident mentally whatever or a certain status financially wherever a certain status in life whatever mm-hmm. i do think that they do the picking that's why they have so much options. What about women when they're in a certain place in their life? No. No. No, I think they think that I, I think women really feel like, oh, I no, I really do. I really feel like they're like, oh, like I have this, I bring this to the table, I have this, I have that. And um maybe maybe a majority of women. But I do think a lot of girls Yeah, maybe majority, but I think there are some that don't. But either way the man uh, does the choosing. I unless, think so unless men you're do willing. Choosing. Unless you're willing. I no, don't they think do I do choosing. think someone is choosing. Okay, like for instance, the mar- the reason you're talking why I'm about marriage. This, and no, I'm just saying in general. Okay, for instance, let's be honest, right? I'd be like, okay, I will date, right? And when I date guys, I'm like, I want every guy le- legit. Like every guy that I talk to, I want him to feel me, right? I want him to like me. I want him to like love me, Dead right? Over. Yeah, right. Because most of them diss me. And so then now when I'm like, okay, I want all the guys now, then I'm like, okay, I'm playing the game different. I want all the guys to like me, whatever the case is. Say I meet my husband now. I'm feeling him, but I'm like, I'm going to make this guy mad over me or like want to spend, you know, go on like, like wicked, yeah, do the most, right? Mm-hmm. Thinking, whatever. But realistically, even if I knew, like I'm being honest to myself and I'm like, I don't settle, right? So if I'm not feeling it, I'm not settling. I think all girls should be like that. If it's not what you want, do not settle. I'll be alone. I'll fuck 30. Do whatever you want until you're 40. I don't care what anyone says to you until you find what you're looking for. You get what I'm saying? But realistically let's say i found what i was looking for right but if he was to be like mm. 
if he wasn't like, okay, let's get oh, married bugs. Yes, within you. three months, right? And he was to be like, let's get married in five years, I probably would have stuck around the five years. So who's really doing the choosing? You still chose. You How? Said, you literally just said. You did choose. You, you've been looking for somebody and you finally found someone that you like. Yeah. You want to impress him to get him to like you. Yes. Regardless, you guys still both chose. Because you had how many ways men before, you didn't choose them. Yeah. But now this one you want. And you're trying to get his attention now. That's so why I said choose. Him, and he made chose. Choose. But you chose him. Okay, so. so no, but that's so, what I'm saying. Okay, choice. so you think like it's 50 50. But I don't okay. think that. Okay, Not I'm, when it comes to the marriage part. Not when it comes to marriage. That's why I said you're talking about. It has to be marriage you must be talking about. Because when it comes to marriage, you, the female, does not make that choice. The man <laughs> makes that choice. That's why I said, what are you yeah, talking about that's exactly? That's what I'm saying, yeah, because that's what I said. If he was to, that's what I'm, well, okay, marriage, you're right. Then. Yeah. If he was to get, that's what I'm saying. If he was to be with me for five yeah, years with no ring, yeah, yeah, I'm waiting on him. I would have yeah. still been, okay, this is the one. Yeah, yeah. This is the guy I like. When we're, I think females, naturally, when we're in a relationship, we look for future. Yeah. They, not that they don't care, but they're not, they're, they're just, they kind of live in the moment. And they also no, know what they want. Girls, I think, no, I think, you know what's so funny with that? I kind of don't agree because I feel like with women, they're mostly right now, what they see right now. Like, really? you're not doing this yet because I feel like you're you're not doing this right now or I'm not getting flowers right now or you're not, like, right now, but they don't look at the future, right? With guys, I feel like, yeah, I feel like guys have more of a tunnel vision and they see a future, they see a goal and that's where they're at and that's how they they move, right? So, because that's why, like, remember, if you're dating a guy for, like, three months or six months, all of a sudden a girl's like, you're not, do like, where, where are we going? No, right? No, I don't. You don't find that you page them for them to be better so that you guys can last and have a future? Yeah. Realistically, we're always the ones to talk about kids. We're always the ones to talk about marriage. First. And later Yeah, but on. that's, like, right. I just met you right now. You want to know what happened right now? You want to know right now? No, no, no. I don't know Isn't about that. Isn't that right now? We're living for the we're living for the future. No, but you're looking right now. At right now. Right now, because I want to last so we can be together in the future. So but also, what you said is potential, by the way, because you said that girls are gonna, the girls are always looking for the right now, and guys are always looking for the potential of the future. And I disagree with that. I think, I think, a lot of girls are willing to take up a man with his, but like for potential of what he could potentially bring to the table later on, and that's where it, I don't think so. I do. I don't think so. I think I think majority of girls right now in 2022 yeah, that are looking for a man do not want anyone for potential. I agree. They I want agree. someone with someone. Yeah, none. But here's the there's none. But that, that do look at someone and say you have so much potential like I will push you. Yeah, and 100%. A, and, then the the problem, the, the, and then there's the ones and then the the then the 10%, then the, then the, the what is it? The 90% yeah. now is saying, girl, don't do that yeah. because, yeah, <laughs> but yeah the because you're going to be dumb. And but, the, but that's the problem. Do you see? This is where we're figuring out the problem. The, you see, the 10% is doing something that should also get a balance of that 90% too, right? They shouldn't be all one. That, they shouldn't be all in that 10%. Do you get what I mean? So those 10% of people should take some of what the people in the 90% have and take a one, two pointers from them. But I get why they're in that 10% because of what you just said. Literally, a lot of people are so for the right now that they're not even worried about the potential of later. And what sucks is because they're so worried about right now and guys are so worried about dealing with right now, everybody gets fucked for the future because they're doing right now shit. Unless their mind is set to think, deeper than that and say okay you know what well, i gotta invest here so i can have this later on but i think guys are like that like i do think guys are more like i that's what i'm saying like girl, girls will be like okay what about the marriage what about you're not focused on the family you're not focused on us and guys are more like i want to get this done this done this done this done in order to make the future so much better than do you get what i'm saying to what you said earlier to you, right you're talking about not the marriage part okay when you're talking about guys choosing you if you're looking for a guy that's well established absolutely has to choose yeah there's people like you said living for the right now the 90 percent that want a man with money already want a man with whatever and to deal with them right now because these girls will just take that shit or get pregnant for you and mm -hmm. fucking child support and yeah yeah so he wants to protect his assets his yeah man, and like what he's building but yeah that's a, there's a lot of and that's, that's why what i'm saying that's a lot of future and that's why no 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 <laughs> 
No, he's not yeah. planning the future. That is still a future. He's not planning I, the future. He's if, planning you not to take all his things from him. In the future. No, right now. He's planning for you to not have nothing. He's already established. <laughs> he's he's making sure that, yo, the female he's with is not namming all his pockets so that later on he doesn't have nothing. What do they call females all the time? Golden. Yeah. So they want to be careful making sure these females are not taking their money. That's yeah. the well-established that's guy. Well-established. Now, yeah. the guy that's not established mm-hmm. which, with, with potential... No, yes, but then the 90% of the girls now, with the guy with the potential, yeah. right, are going to be like, okay, I'm not going to build him up. And then when he gets rich... No, they look at him as a bum. Yeah, and the yeah, 90% they don't even see the look future. at that guy. No, the 90%, the 90% don't, talk don't talk to that guy. Future, they don't talk to the potential remember, guy. The potential guy is the future. Yeah. The, the 90% potential guy is the future. The, ni- the girls, the, yeah, it's true. The, the girls don't look at the 90% the guy. Um, is that's, it? it is a different, it's a different it's topic a still. Movie. Yes. And this is because, like I said, when we were little girls, we played with dolls. Yes, I agree. I agree. I I agree. I agree with that. Guys, they have, they want these cars, so they want to build up and make sure that they can afford these. Like realistically, that's what guys want. Cars, houses, they want everything. The life. The yeah. But like, yeah, they don't look really for the marriage thing. A lot of them think marriage is like dumb. Some, some. Some of them are like, oh, why, why? It's just a ring. It's just a paper. But we're here like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Just, why did you just because do they that? Do. Yeah. We do like, they're like, I yeah, just, I'm girl. done. <laughs> oh, my God. Like, I want to be a wife. And it's like. It's not serious enough. They leave them. And they're like, yo, I want someone that, you know. Who's going to gonna marry, marry me. Like, yeah, that's true. That is true. I didn't see it like that because I always felt like guys with potential with the things like, I'm picking you, right? Because I always yeah. feel like guys know what they want. So when they know what they but want, they're they are picking do, you. They know they're gonna. You guys are picking each other. No, you're picking each other Marriage. in the initial stage. To marry you, he's picking you. Yeah, absolutely. yeah, yeah. He you're pi- you pick each other in the yeah. initial stage. <laughs> he has to let you get to that stage with him. He, you, I mean, you could do things to try to entice him to get there, but that's what I'm saying. Yeah, we're ready. There. We're, we're already, already there. there. We're already like, trying to. Like Most girls meet. Here. Yeah, once like, it can be I anybody. Can like realistically, as much as girls act I'm like I'm gonna they're marry so, him. He loves me. As much as girls yeah. try to act like yeah, every time you meet a guy, you're like I think he loves me. I'm gonna marry him. I will love him. Every yeah. I love yeah. him. This guy's for me. This is what it is. After six months, you're don't already, tell me nothing. You're already there. Don't tell me the nothing. The guy can be a pussy. Don't, don't like, tell me nothing. I don't, he loves me. <laughs> he loves me. He's nice. He's really nice. He takes you on dates. Well, you know what? It's good. We just we really wanted to just touch on one two things on this episode. You know, we're gonna be doing other episodes. We're gonna be doing scenery. We're gonna try to do like a grungy scenery stuff, and like we're gonna try to do different stuff so like our viewers can see different views of us mm-hmm. there you go. um please tell a friend to tell a friend we would love to interview other people whatever we need to artists. we're being slacking we're slacking hey, I, you know what i hope you guys see on this episode i did well so mommy that's we, for you we need to Lola's mom said that Lola see you're doing it again yeah. i'm trying to finish my statement so um, if you guys know anybody that would like to be interviewed by us and not be cut off to talk, um, anybody that wants to be interviewed by us, artists, rappers, female rappers, male rappers, and then when I say artists, I mean like, um, uh, like painters, anybody that draws, um, we're, we would love to interview comedians, Sing. singers, anybody out there that has a really creative say, talent, um, like, yep, even that, real estate, lawyers, um, there's questions that we can ask lawyers, so like, please send a friend. Tell us who, if you know somebody that we could talk to. Anything about anything, we're so open. We are truth ladies. This is truth be told. I'm your girl Lo. I am your girl. Oh, but Lola doesn't make me want to say it because Lola's oh, go mom ahead, said. Sorry. <laughs> Lola's mom said mm-hmm. that on the pod, mm-hmm. Lola cuts me off a lot. She didn't and say she that you cut me off too. No, no, she said you mostly. But, yeah, but say she, you. Yo, you it never tell the full story. My mom <laughs> said did. I cut her off. N- she off, did. But she does cut me off. But I, I cut her off more. more. That you weren't gonna say that. I was gonna say you more. Look at lying bitch. So that's why she's saying I'm cut her lying bitch. I'm just showing her how. Feels. Yeah, but that's not good for our shit. <laughs> no, no. Anyways, we will be back with this another episode this of Truth after. Be Told. Tell a friend to tell a no, friend. No, I'm joking. Shout out, mom. I love you. This is a few years, by the way. 
tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to shoptruth.com um, to watch Truth Be Told on YouTube. Like, comment, and subscribe below. Ding! Ding.